Hi YouTubers, today I want to talk to you about Neanderthals, Neanderthal man. Over the last few years some very interesting discoveries have been found and um, they've come to light. Through DNA testing what they found was, especially by following the uh, mitochondrial DNA which is basically the part that uh, carries the, the female gene, it's purely on the female line, they found that modern man, i.e. Homo sapiens, did not descend from Neanderthals. But what they did find is there was a common ancestor from which they both separated around about half a million years ago, 500,000 years ago. Um, and this in effect means that uh, the two lines carried on separately from that point around about half a million years ago. Also what we saw from, have found from this DNA testing is that uh, both humans and, and Neanderthals and many of the extinct ape groups, that is also assumed, survived by hanging on in small family groups. They, the DNA shows that they go back to a very small family groups. And uh, obviously this com common ancestor was a major split around about half a million years ago. Around about 300,000 years ago, Neanderthals expanded out of Africa and went into the rest of Europe and it was then probably a couple of hundred thousand years later that um, Homo sapiens that had developed in that time separately in the African continent left Africa and the meeting of Neanderthal man and the Homo sapiens uh, came together once again and it was always thought that uh, poor old Neanderthals um, they missed out and uh, that's for, it's for some reason they were wiped out by Homo sapiens and thanks to uh, I think most of you have heard of the Human Genome Project and the mapping of the human genome well the last two, two and a half, two to three years uh, they've been mapping the Neanderthal genome also and what they found out is quite fascinating. They have actually found that in Homo sapiens, in the ancestry of Homo sapiens, those that left Africa have all, they all contain about 3% DNA from Neanderthals. And those people still in Africa and descendants clearly from the African descendants of Homo sapiens. All of those don't show any Neanderthal DNA. So from this conclusion of course we find that in all non-African um, humans there is about a 3% DNA of Neanderthals. So there was some hybridization, there was actually some breeding that went on between um, you know, Neanderthals and humans. Okay, so this brings me to the next bit. So I hope I haven't bored you too much so far. Let's have a think about this. Okay, so, so what else do we know? We know, know that there were earlier um, humanoid apes that left Africa, uh, such as uh, Homo erectus. Homo agaster, for instance, um, has been found in the Republic of Georgia, I believe, and we're looking at 1.9 to 1.7 million year ago finds of um, out of Africa ape-like humans. So even they could have hybridized, of course, with later humanoid um, subspecies. That's the best way of putting it. Subspecies that came out and, and this can happen. So what's going to happen now? Uh, it's fascinating. I find it very interesting that, that there's a sort of a 3% um, DNA shift with uh, that DNA of course has been eaten up over time 
by the continuation of breeding with Homo sapiens. But it's still there. It, it still possibly could explain, you know, bluer eyes, for instance, in the, the northern races, uh, lighter coloured hair, certainly straight hair. That, that would be a good one. Now, there were a few considerable differences between uh, Neanderthals and what we call modern man. And um, much deeper brows. Uh, they actually had slightly larger frame size in skeletal form and uh, slightly larger heads as well actually uh, more brain capacity on average uh, was found with Neanderthals it's uh, certainly not right anymore to go around saying oh he's a bit of a Neanderthal well, he is or Neanderthal if you say Neanderthal um, so what's the point of this video I just find it fascinating really but also <clears throat> it's another nail in the coffin on the old Adam and Eve story isn't it um, once again, there's, there's evidence coming through that Adam and Eve is absolute trash, really. But um, let me think a second. Okay, finally, I just want to hope it doesn't bring up a load of stupidity um, in sort of race issues, really. Um, it makes it makes uh, a bit, bit of a bit of a laugh actually of, of Hitler's Aryan race, doesn't it? Um, they were more Neanderthal than sapien. In many ways, you could say that. Uh, Homo sapiens in the purest form are, are Africans. Um, and there's a, the slight hybridization of the European and Asian and basically all the other races. Um, doesn't really matter, does it? It does give us certain reasons how we can see the differences that are obvious. Um, but uh, let's, let's hope it doesn't uh, start all that stuff again, because that, that's very, very silly. Anyway, uh, peace for now. I hope it's been slightly interesting. Um, I'll, I'll do a more interesting one soon, but uh, peace.